la máquina deportiva, la factoría a nivel mundial de los deportes. We're a baseball-loving 501c3 at Project ALS. Um, our mission is ALS research, and we believe that uh, the only way we're going to get through this is through just really hardcore, directed, targeted scientific research. I have to thank the New York Yankees for, for all you do for Project ALS and ALS research. We're really getting closer. We're getting closer to... Uh, uh, medicine um, for people to take soon. Um, and, and a lot of that has to do back at Sarah Lang's because um, I think people are starting to understand that the only way through ALS is, you know, is, is fighting it. It's, it is showing up. It, it, it's showing, you know, joy and, and gratitude. But it's also a fight. It's been great. Um, all the things that you're hearing about Sarah... Um, the outpouring of it is because that's who she is. Um, she has a talent um, for this game, a skill, uh, but more importantly, a, a love and a passion for it. And that was very evident to me when I got to work with her at ESPN. Um, I knew in short order if I needed to know something. And Sarah, you know, threw it at me <coughs> in the moment on a on a broadcast or something you know i knew it was i knew it was right and i knew i could go with it um and you became aware of that um but but just just her passion um and her love for the game um was infectious and i always love working or not even necessarily working with people that have a passion for what they're doing and a love for what they're doing because that shows but anyone I come across in life, you know, whether it's um, going to get my morning coffee and you can tell someone loves what they're doing, um, that always really speaks to me and is very attractive to me. And um, I think Sarah embodies that and is showing the world um, that on a daily basis, all, all while doing it in difficult circumstances. Goodness, I'm not used to being on this side of this i've been in those seats looking at booney trying not to laugh while covering <laughs> yankees games because i know him so i'm just so grateful to the yankees to caitlin to you jason to everyone involved i mean this is so so important to put a spotlight on young women with als to show them not everyone looks like lou garrett but even Lou Gehrig, as I've been saying a lot over the last month, is not your typical case. He was much younger than the average ALS patient. He is not in that normal demographic either. So anything we can do to shine a light on this disease, the funding it needs, and the incredible people 
were involved in this community. I'm just so grateful. And again, so grateful to this organization. So thank you. Incredibly overwhelming. I mean, all of this is so overwhelming. I don't think I processed any of this from the day that I pressed send on that tweet to share this with the world and all of the kindness I'd received even beforehand. But I mean, I love baseball so much. I'm so grateful for it. It's the one thing in my life that absolutely will not change at all. And that's really, really important. But I never set out for baseball to love me back. But I'm beginning <laughs> to process the idea that maybe it does. And I'm just so, so grateful for that. Mr. and Mrs. Langs, you guys are throwing out the first pitch today. <laughs> yes! So, training facility is all yours. We got hot stuff, we got fans, <laughs> hot tub, cold tub, whatever you need. Yeah. But we got to get it. We we got to get it right. You know, we got to get it right. Okay. Right. So, we're very excited to have you and grateful that you're here. And obviously, Sarah, Thanks. you are. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more warm Yankee Stadium ovation for these courageous women and their fight against ALS. And fans, if you would like to help in advancing research for a cure, please donate to Project ALS. Fans can purchase a Lang's Star with 100% of the profits going to Project ALS by visiting starsforsarah.org or by scanning the QR code on the video screen. Today's ceremonial first pitch, Sarah Lang's parents, Charles Lang's and Lisanne Peraski.